everyone. It's Monday, March 8th. Welcome back to Sally's Backyard. I'm Sally and I've got a finished object to show you this week and some progress on another project. Um, and I'm getting close to finishing that. So yeah, I hope you're all having a good Monday. I've got on my uh, Mrs. Tittlemouse pin. My daughter Sarah got me that a couple years ago. <laughs> so yeah, let's, uh, let's get started. I wanted to show you my finished object. Um, I finished the houndstooth scarf. It's the crochet project. Yeah, didn't take me that long. Um, it would have taken me even less time if I had worked on it when I was in Chicago, um, but I didn't. So, <laughs> so I finished it last week. And I'm really happy with how it turned out. I think it looks great. Like I said before, I made one of these for my mom and I made one for my sister and uh, I wanted one for myself. So I love ha the houndstooth pattern. I just think it looks so nice. I'll link to the pattern uh, in the description box. Um, it's a very easy crochet um, It works up quickly. And yeah, I'm just really happy with it. I'm thinking about um, using the pattern as inspiration um, to make uh, some fingerless mitts and maybe a headband. So that could be in the future. But yeah, there is my houndstooth scarf. <laughs> some fabric last week from Toad Hollow. Um, I've mentioned them before uh, and if you haven't seen they have a podcast and they've been podcasting every day since uh, last March I think March or April so it's been almost a year um, and uh, they're two sisters Mary Beth and Helen uh, they're a lot of fun to watch they dye yarn they sell fabric um, and they're into all kinds of crafts. They knit, they crochet, they do English paper piecing, they cross stitch. So um, they're entertaining uh, and they have really beautiful yarn and really beautiful fabrics. Um, so I wanted to share the fabric with you that I got. Um, I'm gonna make uh, curtains for my granddaughter's bedroom. Um, so yeah, let me show that to you. So here's the fabric. It's so cute. It's got all of these little woodland animals on it. And it has little words like jolly and friendly and brave and busy and chatty and friendly and naughty and jolly. But I just think that's going to make the cutest curtains for her. So I'll probably be working on this, uh, these this week and I'll share some of that. It's time for crafter confessionals. <laughs> so two of these bags, that one and that one. These two have active projects in them. The rest are all finished. The projects aren't even in these bags and I need to put all this stuff away. There's extra yarn in here, there's needles, there's hooks, there's all kinds of stuff. So yeah, time to clean up a little bit. It's better. I moved one project bag or one project into this, the boneyard shawl that I'm working on. Um, this is a bag that I made I don't know, a couple of years ago. It's got uh, this cute Anne of Green Gables fabric on the front. It's got two pockets and then it's lined on the inside with more of that Anne of Green Gables um, fabric. And then there's three pockets on the inside. And this is my, um, if you see that little medicine bottle, that's where I keep all my notions, like my stitch markers and my, um, darning needles and stuff like that and yeah so that's kind of a nice that's one of my favorite project bags um and I got the um pattern well it's not really a pattern um there's a, a YouTube channel called So Spire and I'll link to her in the description box but she has a lot of how-to videos and she will walk you step by step through the process to make a bag. And I made several bags, different styles from her. Um, yeah, and I'm a visual learner, so for me it's perfect. Um, but yeah, so that's uh, that's my bag. 
So we're all straightened up now, ready to go. I bought this one on Etsy a few years ago. Actually, my husband bought me this on Etsy a few years ago. And that's another one of my favorites because I love owls. So, all right, we're all straightened up now. Two projects, good to go. everyone it's Tuesday March 9th and today uh, I've got a little something different that we're going to be working on and I'll show you that here in a second. These are uh, four of the original garden beds that we put in when we moved here 15 years ago. Um, we used to have two more right here. Those are long gone. I used to have six beds um, and then we went down to four and now I do most of my gardening on uh, the back patio Hello, Mr. Red Wing Blackbird. <laughs> and uh, these need to come out. So the bunnies have a tendency of nesting here and they're overtaken with oregano and we really just need to get these out. They're kind of an eyesore. Um, so yeah, we're gonna start working on that today. I'll show you a little bit of that process, not too much. Good morning, I hear you. <laughs> the Red Wings are very uh, vocal this morning. They're marking their territory. They come back every year and they chase out all the hawks and any other birds that they find are impeding on their nesting area. And uh, yeah, they let us know. So that's what we're gonna work on today. Hope you're all having a good day and uh, I'll see you in a little bit. progress. This is obviously going to take a few days, um, but that's okay. We'll just take our time and uh, get it cleared out a little bit at a time, and then we'll have this corner cleared out and uh, be done with it. So uh, I'll keep you updated and I'll show you the finished uh, project once we're all done. Hey everybody, same day, different shirt. <laughs> I got something on my shirt when we were out in the garden, so I had to change. Um, but I wanted to show you a little progress I've made on the Magic Spring Shawl um, that I'm working on for the Happy Knits uh, Knit Along. So, getting there, a little bit more progress. I've added the third color now. So it's this kind of pinky red and green. I'll show you the the uh, wound up ball I have of it. So that's the third color coming in. And yeah, I'm thinking I may not have to use all six mini skeins. So I'm gonna just see how it goes. But yeah, it's really pretty, really pretty color. And I think I'm gonna gift this uh, to someone, but I'm not gonna say who because they might be watching. Um, so yeah. I'm just working right along on that, making some progress. I'm working on the Boneyard Shawl. I haven't made as much progress on that, um, but I'm gonna be working that on that in the evenings um, this coming week. So I'll show you later in the week how far I've gotten with that. Um, we're gonna be working on those garden beds uh, throughout the week, just taking advantage of the nice weather. It's 65 degrees today. It's supposed to be in the 60s this week and we may have a little rain later so we're going to want to take advantage of uh, that nice weather this week and getting those done so most of my crafting will be done in the evenings and i may not get to sewing those curtains until this weekend so we'll see how that goes i did want to share with you um, a purchase that i received in the mail last week from ireland um, if you follow me on instagram you've probably already seen this um, this is from a shop called My Cottage Number no. 9, um, and I'll link to it in the description box below. So here's what I ordered. This is a large tote bag uh, I got, and it's an oil cloth on the outside. 
And then on the inside is this uh, cotton linen lining that I thought was really pretty. Terry does a great job. She makes a lot of um, project bags for knitters and crocheters and crafters. And uh, she was doing a local craft fair uh, last month, I think it was. And she made some of these tote bags and had some left over and put them in her Etsy shop. And I finally decided that it was time to order one. <laughs> it's got the nice square bottom on it. So this will be fun to take to the farm market uh, this year. And when I finally get back to traveling and flying to Chicago, this will be nice to take up there when we go shopping and doing different things in the future. So yeah, I will link to her shop and go check her out. My cottage number nine. I'm getting the chicken ready for dinner and um, I thought I would use some of my herbs that I grew last year. I like to dry these and then uh, this year I started storing them in the uh, glass uh, canning jars. Uh, I was using plastic bags but the canning jars just make storage so much easier and the herbs seem to stay fresher. I'm just making a simple crock pot chicken with chicken thighs. I put a little bit of chicken stock in the bottom and then I sprinkle on the uh, fresh or the dried herbs and then I'll add some uh, spices like garlic and onion and uh, a little bit of paprika. And then I just let that cook for a few hours and we'll be ready for dinner. Thursday, March 10th, I believe. Um, so I wanted to show you uh, the progress I've made on the Boneyard Shawl. It's a Stephen West pattern um, that I'm making for the knit along uh, that the Piece for Piece uh, podcast is hosting. And as you can see, it hasn't grown too much, but just a little bit. <laughs> The colors are so pretty in this yarn, and I don't know if you can see this detail. There's like a little ridge detail. That's like every so many um, rows. And yeah, and I'm doing the yarn over, so there's some open space there. But yeah, this is going to be really pretty. It's a very easy knit. Uh, it's just what I need right now. Um, things that I don't have to think about too much. <laughs> So yeah, we're supposed to get some rain today so we can take a break from the yard work. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna probably do some knitting, watch, get caught up on some podcasts. I hope you're all having a good day. I'll talk to you in a little bit. Good morning, Riley. Did you wanna show off your new haircut? Yeah. Okay, well, you're looking very stylish. Yep, looking very stylish. <laughs> and a little crazy. So yeah. All right, we'll talk to you in a little bit. Bye. Friday, March 12th, another beautiful day. It's gonna be about 60 degrees today. I might be pushing a little bit, but I'm out on the porch having my lunch. <laughs> gonna enjoy this beautiful weather. Hope you're all having a good Friday. And uh, yeah, I'll be back with some crafty stuff here in just a few minutes. Hi everyone, I'm back. Um, I just thought it would uh, be fun to 
do a little uh, recording out on the front porch. It's such a beautiful day today. It's in, gonna be towards 60 degrees. And uh, yeah, so um, yesterday I was watching the Joey uh, Scarf podcast. It's hosted by Linda Grace. Um, I will link to her podcast uh, below. And she is having a make-along, uh, one that she has every year. And you can go to her podcast and get all the details. She also has a uh, Joey Scarf group on Ravelry. And she's on Instagram as well. Um, but she's having a make-along that I usually uh, join in on every year. And so this seems to be my year of make-along, so I'm going to join. Um, it starts. Uh, it started yesterday, and it goes through, I think, the end of April, but I'm not sure. I'll have to double-check that. Um, so anyway, I found this really cute... Um, sweater, toddler size sweater that I want to make for my granddaughter. It's called the Macaroon Sweater and I will link to that or I'll show a picture of it and I'll link to it uh, in the description box. And I had this um, Stylecraft Special DK left over from a blanket that I had made her when she was just a baby. And I think I have enough uh, to make this cute little sweater for her. And the make along is um, the theme of it is you're supposed to think of someone or or some situation that gives you hope uh, this for this year. So um, my granddaughter is always someone who gives me hope. So I'm going to be making this for her. And this is, um, it's called Parma Violet. That's the color. I think that's really pretty. It made a really cute uh, baby blanket. Um, so I think it'll make a cute sweater. It's a knit pattern. Um, and I have not knit her a sweater before. I've crocheted one for her, but I haven't knit one. So I will uh, keep you posted on my progress and probably get started on this over the weekend. Good morning, everyone. It's Saturday, March 13th. Um, I was talking in a couple episodes back about ordering my garden seeds and I got them yesterday. I ordered them from uh, John Sheeper's kitchen garden seeds and I'll link to them in the description below. Uh, I got my seeds yesterday and I wanted to show you what I got. Uh, I don't do the big garden like I used to anymore. I do all of my gardening on the back patio. Um, once it gets warmer, obviously, um, I'll get my tomato plants and my herbs at the garden center. And uh, But these things I like to grow from seed and I'll show you what I got. So, I got some radishes and some uh, salad greens, and this is a mesclun blend. And I got some uh, carrots. And then the rest I got are um, flowers. I got some hollyhocks and uh, cosmos. Um, one of my favorites, nasturtiums. And I got two different kinds of zinnias. This is the Oklahoma mix. And this is the Lilliput mix. And these are the smaller variety. And then I got a, uh, a smaller variety of sunflowers. This is called Sonia. So yeah, I'll grow all those in pots and uh, do that every year and they do very well. And uh, yeah, whatever vegetables I don't grow anymore, we go to the farm market and uh, we enjoy doing that on Saturday mornings and we uh, get the other things that we like to eat. I'm gonna wrap up for this week. Uh, I just wanna say thanks to everyone who's watched and uh, thank you for subscribing. Um, if you're new, thanks for uh, joining me. And if you've been with me for a little while, thanks for coming back. I uh, hope you all have a good week, and I will see you next time. Bye, everybody.